Two Honeypath police officers have been fired after being accused of beating a man during his arrest. WI50 News source Ashley Swan is following these developments, and she joins us live tonight from our Anderson newsroom. Ashley. Gabrielle, the Honeypath police chief said today after reviewing the facts from SLED and the solicitor's office, his department had no choice but to terminate both of the officers involved. We do want to warn you, some of the images involved in this case are disturbing. Take a look. These are photos of Robert Shaw and John Bell, the officers who, as of Friday, are no longer with the Honeypath police force. And this is a photo of 34 year old Brian Hatcher after the incident in question. The officers said Hatcher had a knife when they tried to arrest him during a traffic stop back in November. Hatcher's family says the officers beat him until he had a seizure. Today, Hatcher's attorney tells us he has a severe skull fracture that will not heal, is blind in one of his eyes, deaf, and has a brain injury that has impacted his ability to talk. Attorney Tom Dunaway says he's still gathering information on John Bell, but tells us Robert Shaw has a history of trouble that should have prevented the department from hiring him to begin with. We're appalled that he has continued to be a police officer for any city in the United States. And I'm sorry that it has taken a honey path so long to investigate this and terminate him from their squad. In a statement, Honeypath Chief of Police David King says, quote, none of the previous employers for either officer indicated any excessive force issues and nothing was ever reported to raise concerns in our hiring process. Hatcher and his family are in the process of filing a lawsuit against Honeypath, the police department, and both of those officers. Live in the Anderson Newsroom, Ashley's One, WIFF News 4.